chat. Pop out chat. Hi everyone. This is Chicho and we are August 11, 2019. And we're doing a liqueur live stream. Time to go through the liquor cabinet. Go through the liqueurs. There's a couple of things I want to do. Um, one of the things is uh, clear out the blackberry stuff and take a look at these guys. Uh, and one of the things, first thing we're going to do is actually clear out some of the blackberries. But uh, we're going to make new blackberry liqueur as well as pom um, pineapple liqueur. Okay. Uh, aside from that, we are going to wait until people roll in. We'll probably start the live stream and I'm going to be recording this as well, by the way. We got uh, the camera set up. Let me show you the, the other angle. Okay. This is the angle that we're going to be uh, shooting the uh, video. Okay. And this is the angle we're going to switch to once we're ready to go. I hope the volume is going to be okay. The Twitch keeps on saying it's trying to connect the chat, so I don't know um, how slow or fast things are going right now. We're definitely going to wait until I make sure. Uh, you know what? Maybe I'm going to pop out the chat again, see if it's going to do the job. Pop out. Maybe it'll connect. Okay, cool. Now it's on. Welsh player, how are you doing? Welcome to another live stream. Fun. People have been wanting us to do another live, uh, another liqueur live stream. So uh, I was planning on doing one in August, uh, late August, early September uh, for the liqueurs, but uh, we went blackberry picking and got a, got a nice supply. Looks like you're solo here, Welsh. For some reason, the connection, I think, is uh, having a hard time connecting to places. Uh, but slowly, I think, we're doubling up. Pumpkin eyes. How are you doing, Chicho? How are you? Greetings from Turkey. Salutations. Salutations, brother. How are you doing? Uh, what's hello in Turkish? Uh, Turkish. I don't know what's hello in Turkish. Eduardo, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Fun. Went serious uh, fruit picking uh, yesterday or day before, I guess. Mer, merhaba, 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 merhaba. Uh, let me see if I can do a Turkish accent. Nas, nasl, nas, nasilisin, nasilisin, nasilisin. Turkish, uh, I know some words. I gotta. Chakoch, uh, Nasilisin. Maybe I'm pronouncing it right. I'll have to ask my father. Spot of Tib will be here later. Awesome, Welsh. He's working right now. Oh, working on a Sunday. Intrepid. How are you? Things are going well. Things are going well. <laughs> Pumpkin eyes. I've been looking forward to do, doing uh, catching up on some of the food stuff. And. Um, doing a fair bit of uh, food prep in the summer. There's one summer that we were, didn't do a fair bit, so we ran out of our, uh, almost ran out of our uh, crab apple uh, jam. So we, we're gonna go crab apple picking probably next weekend. Uh, got some blackberries, got some apples, uh, harvested mint. Uh, I already washed it, I hung it to dry. I have a pic that I'll probably post in the next few days. And then once it dries, we might do another video of jarring dried mint. So I'm basically getting ready for the fall and winter. Night night. Hey Chicho. Got any movie tips? I'm moving. Oh, moving tips. Moving into a small room in an apartment about 15 minutes away. And I don't know what to pack and what to give away. Oof. Uh, tape measure is your friend. So if you have... Uh, Lions, how are you doing? Welcome to a liqueur live stream. Uh, the Irish will love this. <laughs> uh, 
take a tape measure and measure out your furniture. Uh, make sure whatever you want to keep is going to fit in the space that you need, that you have now. Okay. Um, if you need moving boxes, go to a liquor store or grocery store and ask them for boxes before they pack them all up. Moving test man, I've done so many moving moves. Uh, you get in shape. Uh, when you lift stuff up, lift with your legs, tuck in your tummy, your belly button to your core, right? Uh, make sure you're solid. Rip, John Nova, how are you doing? Hey, what up, Chicho? Heading back to school for senior year in a few days. Any tips for starting off, off the year? Uh, stay on top of it right away, man. Right? If there is, th yeah, a few tips. If there's people that were directing you down the wrong path last year, be a little bit more distant from them. Uh, stay on top of the mathematics and any sciences that you're taking. If, if you're, you're inclined to work with people, uh, start testing out different people to see if they're okay with working together, right? Hey, Chicho, Hana, how are you doing? Today is a religious fast day for me. Your voice brings me great comfort. Thank you. My pleasure, Hana. The, <laughs> the topic is not a religious fast thing, though. <laughs> I'm going to head out the liqueur cabinet. <laughs> French Channel. Hi, Chicho. I'm glad to see you here. I'm new on Twitch, and I really wanted to see you live instead of just YouTube. Looking forward to looking here. Awesome, man. Glad to have you here, and thank you for doing a little transition over here. Uh, Fringe channel. Um, I, do, I don't know if we're going to load up this video on YouTube. Right now, I've, the last video I tried to load on BitChute, it's not processing. I've done it like six times now for some reason. It's like three and a half hour video. But... Um, I think it's just a hiccup in, in BitChute. I've had this happen before, but not for so long. So I'm gonna try to load that one up again, the previous video. I will definitely load this video, the live stream version anyway, on BitChute. If BitChute's not gonna be is showing hiccups, I'll load it on YouTube as well. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load up the uh, edited video, uh, version on, uh, on YouTube for sure. So here, let me show you the angle. This is the angle we're gonna use. And this is the angle that the HD camera is seeing as well. The camera live is this one, and the HD camera is over here, a little bit further back. Okay, so I'm gonna try to manage it. I got the mic set up here. Okay, and uh, boop. and this is the angle that we're using right now. I posted a pic on on uh, Gab Minds and uh, Twitter just to show you guys what the setup is like. I want to share as much as I can, but thank you. By the way, that was a long, uh, long winded <laughs> way of saying thanks for popping, uh, coming on Twitch. Twitching Jason, hey Chicho, I'm at the Denver airport. My flight was delayed 14 hours. Yikes. I was supposed to leave last night. Glad to have caught you and everyone else. Awesome. Nice to have you, Twitching Jason. Don't go to the Denver basement, the tunnels. I've heard some crazy stuff comes out of there. The murals there are supposed to be insane, right? I know it's a liqueur stream, but is there any space for a question? For sure, Intrepid. What's up? Martin, how are you doing? How's life, brother? It's so unbelievably loud at the gate. Uh, I won't be able to hear Jack. Hope everyone's well. Oh, no, too bad. Must be kidding. Denver is, I think, the busiest airport in the United States. Uh, the Colorado, um, the yeah, the Denver airport. I believe so, anyway. Meeting on a jet plane. <laughs> Good afternoon, Chicho. Love your lucky bamboo plant. To your, to your this guy. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> Thanks. I'm gonna watch you make the gear. Nice. Mm -hmm. Can white make tequila for sure? I'm, I'm assuming. Why not? Literally have been stuck overnight in the same airport. Safe travels, brother. Yikes. Safe travels for sure. For your information, if you're here. John Denver, don't get on. Uh, how many percent the the vodka? It's going to be forty percent liqueur. Oof. Don't say tequila. 
I just came from a wedding. I'm in so much pain. <laughs> What's the one thing, uh, one thing about tequila that everyone agrees with, or one thing you associate with tequila is regret. Right. I'm enjoying a glass of my own blueberry liqueur. Nice. First liqueur I've made. It's been sitting for about 10 months. Great taste off it. Good on the rocks as well. Yeah, good on the rocks. I got, check this out. I got my little, I don't know if they'll hold up <laughs> throughout the whole stream. It's just water. I brought the ice just in case. Well, we're going to be sampling. This is my blueberry. This is, uh, we made a video of the blueberry liqueurs and only this much is left. Blueberry liqueurs are amazing. Right. So let me set myself up, gang. Let me tie myself in. And, uh, oh, crazy. What a small world, haha, <laughs> likewise. So both Night Nights and Twitch and Jason are stuck at the airports. We're traveling anyway. I'm so glad I don't have to travel anymore, man. That's one thing for sure. They're doing construction here all over. They make jokes on all the their signs here. Things like construction or new underground tunnels. Yikes. It must be insane. There's our mic. <coughs> Take a shot, Chicho. I will be. <laughs> I will be. Uh, you know what? There's a lot of conspiracy associated with uh, what goes on, the murals and the Denver, Denver Tunnel, um, what they portray. It's basically nuclear war and Armageddon and stuff like this, right? Uh, do uh, Denver Airport mur mur murals, uh, images, pics, and you'll see uh, the type of pics we're talking about. What's a good medicinal herb, edible to try? I'm going on vacation in the sun. I want to chill by the pool. Medicinal herb? Um, <laughs> depends where you're going, <laughs> I think. Oh, Wes, thank you very much for the donation, brother. Um, medicinal herb depends where you're going, if it's legal or not. Canada is legal. Uh, medicinal herb, which is amazing. Uh, Aside from that, a lot of a lot of plants are medicinal. Really, a lot of plants are medicinal. So, um, where should we put this? I'm gonna put this here. Like I have uh, this guy. The, the lemon liqueur. This is medicinal for me, right? It's good for the tummy. Very good. You can tell from the liqueurs how much we've dwindled because we topped uh, top things up, right? Any suggestions on what liqueur I should make next? So far, I've only made blueberry. I'm a bit uh, indecisive on which uh, fruit or berry I want to use next. Uh, Lions, uh, on the previous video, liqueur video, I'm pretty sure we made the we made autumn olive right this is very strong right we sample a little bit actually we haven't been drinking this at all but in one video we put out we made pomegranates too pomegranates is absolutely amazing like this is how much pomegranates we got left now like <laughs> we took it out and we made blueberry uh cherry cherry is absolutely phenomenal we made cherry and strawberry we finished off the strawberry within. That was the first thing to go. And we ate all the strawberries too. So strawberry was crazy delicious. Crazy delicious. Peach would be phenomenal too, boy. Oh my God, peach. I'll add peach to my list of things to make. Cannabis in Washington, it's legal. Yeah, cannabis in Washington is legal, yeah. Okay, let me tie myself up here. gonna put that guy down yes curious Devin hey Chicho I have been wanting to make the cure inspired by you should 
if you're if you're into and take it easy on the liqueurs because uh, some people I know I have a sweet tooth so I, I tend to make them extra sweet so I don't drink too much right it's just satisfies it right you can go through them fast so you gotta be I think I'll go with strawberry and peach I'm not a fan of cherry or pomegranate thanks okay strawberries strawberry was phenomenal so good so good so should we do this should we make some liqueur let me detangle myself slightly Could grapes work for the care? I think so. Grapes, uh, grapes would be good. Maybe I don't know. I've never made grapes. I've made a couple of things here, which I wouldn't do again. They're crazy strong, crazy strong. Watching you just makes me feel so relaxed. Nice. <laughs> glad. Glad. I think that's one thing our world needs is more chill, more quiet, more just being, right? Instead of doing. Even though I'm doing, I'm in my space. It's creating, right? To a certain degree. This is also called, called infused vodka, no? Um, I, I think so. But um, I think infused, uh, you don't use as much sugar. Liqueur, I think the, the whole uh, thing with liqueur is it kicks up the sugar level, the sugar content. Sugar sweets is not following you. Sugar is, you're in for <laughs> your namesake live stream. That's funny. Sugar sweets, first time catching a stream. Last time I made blackberry liqueur, I added half a lime in the jar before letting it ferment for a period. Worth a try if you feel adventurous. Oh, it would be good. The, the lime would give it a nice tang to it, eh? That'd be really good. That timing, yeah, that timing was crazy. <laughs> I'm off to Hong Kong in two weeks. Maybe I can lo uh, local some interesting fruits. Maybe, Martin. Be careful in Hong Kong. There's a lot of stuff going on there. You have the best name for this stream. <laughs> sweet sugar sweets. Okay. I always seem to miss the streams and end up uh, watching on YouTube. Glad I can join you today. Uh, glass of wine. Glad to have you. Hope you're doing well, Chicho. Jerry, Jerry, glad to have you, brother. Glad to have you. Uh, what's the name of the fruit uh, that when you cut looks like a Star, uh, is it called star fruit? That could be tasty. I think it's called just star fruit, isn't it? And I think it's tasty if it needs to be more ripe, right? Star fruit, yeah. I love how Chicho community is so chill and respectful. The trolls haven't shown up in a while. No, they're, they're, every now and then we get them. Uh, and if there's any problems, I'm not gonna interact with chats once we start recording. I might do a little look over or ask you guys a question or something. If, if anything's going wrong, you guys for sure let me know. I'll keep an eye on chat. Uh, but once, um, what do you call it? Um, once we start recording, I'm changing the angle and we'll go through our routine. And then after recording, I'll come back to the, to the chat. I lived like seven years, but yeah, it's dangerous at moments at the moment yeah i think it's called star fruit no joke <laughs> yeah hong kong would be a trip i have some friends that, that live in hong kong and live here and travel back and forth and stuff uh, they love it they love it so excited for the new liqueur me too time to clean up the liqueur cabinet a little bit okay again i'm gonna switch up the <laughs> Very creative name for a fruit. 
if you ask me. <laughs> okay, let's see. Are we doing okay? I think we're doing okay. Okay, I'm gonna turn these guys on. Yo, Chicho. Richard, what's good, brother? Everything's good. Well, not everything's good. Um, certain things are phenomenal, certain things are okay, certain things are good, certain things are 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 not so good. Well, in French it's not called star fruit or fruit. It's a really weird and complicated name. Ah, the French make things complicated sometimes. Sometimes. Difficult learning French. Okay, let's turn this guy on, this guy on, this guy on. Test, test, test. One, two, three. I'm gonna put this away here. Test, test, test. One, two, three. I'm gonna do a little click. That's gonna make sure I don't get tangled up. If I do it here, here, I'm gonna do another tape. One more. gonna link my cord up one more place as well so it's not I'm not gonna step on it okay perfect let's put that guy here and I gotta take the glasses off Ooh, getting dizzy clap 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 Sometimes I do I do these videos and I do forget to clap. So let's do this. Let's see. Are we centered? Yeah, should be. Okay. Ooh. Are we good? We're good. Synchronized chat. Nice. <laughs> Hi everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another liqueur video and what we're going to do today is go through the liqueur cabinet um, and one thing i like to do is uh, clear off the blackberries that we have here because i went blackberry picking and uh, we picked some fantastic blackberries so i've got some two liter jars here basically okay two liters i think it's about uh, 60 ounces or so 60 plus ounces or so so we're gonna make blackberry liqueur and we're gonna make pomegranate, uh, um, pineapple liqueur. We already made pomegranate liqueur. We're gonna make pineapple liqueur. Pineapple liqueur we're, we're making because uh, through the previous liqueur videos that we made, people were asking, you know, have you made liqueurs with this, liqueurs with this, liqueurs with this? And some of the stuff I had made liqueurs with and I said, you know, my recommendation if it was good or not or my taste. Uh, some of the stuff I had with, and someone ended up making some uh, pineapple liqueur and they said it tasted phenomenal. So we're gonna make some pineapple liqueur, okay? So there's two things we're gonna, two types of liqueurs we're gonna make, uh, blackberries and pineapples. We're gonna clear off the older blackberry liqueurs that I have because I've gone through the well too many times, right? Because what I've ended up doing is uh, when we made the blackberry liqueur, when the vodka, usually I make it with vodka. There's a couple here that we have with gin. One, anyway, we have with gin. But when the vodka finishes, I would just pour it up, pour more vodka in there with a little bit of sugar. But I ended up doing that, that too many times. And the uh, blackberry liqueurs that we have here, they're really strong. I might filter them out. I have some uh, cheesecloth that I'm thinking about getting the, the vodka, but it tastes really strong. So what I might do, we just might you know, we're gonna sample some of it. I might take the rest of them and drop them off somewhere. I'm pretty sure there's a place that I know that some people might appreciate it, okay? Uh, the other thing we're gonna do, if we have any vodka left over, is we might top up some of the other liqueurs that we made previously. And uh, we put out, I don't know, I think this is either the third, uh, third or fourth liqueur video we put up, right? Um, on one of the liqueur videos, we ended up making blueberry liqueur, 
cherry liqueur and uh, strawberry liqueur. And if you've watched that video, let me show you what's left of the blueberry liqueur, right? This is the blueberry liqueur. Okay, so we've gone through a fair bit of it. I haven't done a refill of this yet. So this was one iteration, okay? Here's our cherry liqueur. And cherry liqueur is absolutely phenomenal as well. Okay, as you can tell, I haven't changed uh, on that video, I mentioned I was going to put legit labels on these things. I <laughs> haven't put legit labels on these things. So this is our cherry liqueur. Okay. And we've gone one iteration of this as well. Uh, I would have loved to show you the strawberry liqueur, <laughs> but we finished it. We finished the strawberry liqueur through one iteration. Uh, I might have done another poured a little bit more on the sugar and we ended up eating all the strawberries as well. So the strawberry liqueur, huge, huge hit. Super, super delicious. Okay, highly recommend. And I believe in another video, we ended up making pomegranate liqueur last winter during pomegranate season. And this is what's left of the pomegranates and I've gone through two iterations of this. So we're gonna try to eat all this up. I'm not gonna go through another iteration of this. I'm not gonna fill this up because usually what we do with the fruits up to here, so I would just add this much more. If you see, right, let me show you. There isn't that much liquid here. I might do a little bit. I might do a one more iteration where I just pour enough vodka that it fills it up to here, okay? And that will be it for this. And this coming winter, we're gonna, we'll end up making more pomegranate liqueur, okay? So first thing I wanna do is, with that long introduction, right? First thing I wanna do is, I wanna go through the blackberries because I wanna create the space here, okay? So let's bring these out, let me show you what we've got. I'm just gonna bring out the full-blown blackberries. I mean, this is, I don't know how long this is. And there's a little bit of liqueur there, right? So I want to taste these. If they're good, I'm going to keep them. If they're way too strong for me, uh, it's not to my taste, I'm going to put these aside and drop them off somewhere. Okay. Uh, give them away. I'm pretty sure there's an area in town where, where, where people might appreciate them. Right? Uh, if they like the really strong taste. Right. Here's another one. You can tell this one's really old. This blackberry liqueur is super old. Like I went to the well way too often on these. I love blackberry liqueur. Blackberry and cherry liqueurs are the first two liqueurs that um, I ended up making, right? And then from there, it just grew to what you see here. Okay. I tasted this one. This one was crazy strong. This one was, uh, I believe it was the pulp of uh, blackberry jam that we made. So I, you know, I do experiment a little bit. So I took, I've taken pulp from jams we make and add vodka to them and a little bit of sugar just to kick up the sweetness a little bit. Usually it doesn't come out good with the pulp of the, when you mill the jam, right? Uh, and we've done a little bit of milling uh, with crab apples and stuff. And we're gonna do, we're gonna make blackberry jam tomorrow during a live stream and I'm all doing a live stream we're not going to be recording it right because uh, I can't set up all the different camera angles uh, but in general I would stay away I'm not going to do any more uh, try to make any more liqueurs from the pulp of the jams that we end up making it's just not worthwhile it's better to do it with the fresh fruit not the cooked fruit uh, with the with the milled stuff right this is uh, not sure if you can see that yeah you can see that for sure right well I would bring it down for the live stream as well right so you can see that okay this one I tasted too is crazy strong here for the people on live stream because that angle is a little different let's make sure they see it as well right so we're gonna do a little bit of sampling this one I sampled um, this was 2000 Put a little note here, right? 
2012, uh, gin and blackberry. It's not my thing. I like the vodka. Um, and this is, I think I've gone through the well way too often on this. We'll, we'll taste this guy as well. This one is just straight up blackberry and it's, I think this is gonna be crazy strong. So before we load up too many bucks here, let me put these guys on the side so we don't accidentally spill anything. And I brought little uh, spoons here that I'm just gonna dip it in and taste. And I have a box, let me bring up the box just in case. these little cheese cloths that I thought about putting in the jars and then pouring these things in there and letting the alcohol just uh, fall down into the jar and taking the pulp and you could do baking with it pretty sure with brownies right take some of the stuff it would be like a rumble uh, but I might keep one to try it out right but we need the space we're gonna be making new, new liqueur so I'm not gonna I'm not going to do it this way. Okay. I'm going to do this. Let's put the box here just in case. And slowly, we're going to put him away. Yeah, let's bring this out. And I got, a, I got a few spoons here because we're not going to double dip, right? So take a look. It's a live stream. See if I can show it to you. I don't want to do any spillage. It's coming up to the ledge, right? So let's do a little taste on this. this one back <laughs> this one's not bad I thought because it was so um, what do you call it it basically disintegrated the blackberries I thought it, it would be a lot stronger but not bad so we're gonna put this one here there's one more a couple more I gotta take a look at as well but before we do that I wanna to bang it to open it right what you can do with if there's a lid like this you could go grab this and go ta, 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 ta. but it's gonna be too loud Should we try? no it's gonna be too loud so this one we're giving away okay let's try this one I'm pretty sure we're gonna give away but let's taste it anyway okay since I don't have to put the spoon in there we're gonna use the same spoon so take a look, right? Let's see if we can pour this. Okay. Yes. Wowzers. Okay, this one we're gonna give away. This one we're giving away. That was during the phase that was making them really strong, I think. Let's forget this one. This has got a fair bit of liquid in it. So this might be, let me clean my palates a little bit.
the spinach. Oh, nice. I caught it into the. <laughs> I'll show you. This one we're going to give away to. Okay. Let's put it this way. Whoever guessed that is going to be happy. Let's check out this one. I don't know what this one's going to be like. Okay, I'm going to have to dip a spoon in there, so I'm going to grab a different spoon. a good idea to do this every now and then this is definitely from the pulp of take a look dark 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 this is for the live stream gang right super dark there's this guy Gin. Let's give the gin a try. Let's give the gin a try. Check it out. It's pretty light colored, right? showed you guys these last time these are like little firecracker tanks that i've got as a gift like 20 years ago <laughs> this guy this guy is like the the jam pulp as well okay this one uh, i believe it was blackberry and blueberry together and you do get sticky when you're handling these things so what I've done is brought a rag that's wet so I'm just wetting my my fingers part of it is wet part of it is dry so I wet them and dry them just to keep the stickiness to a minimum maybe okay let's try This is almost on the same level of the, as the other one that we're giving away, but uh, it's gentler for me. So we'll keep this one. We should give a rating of this too. It's pretty much sticky. My. So all I'm gonna do is just gonna write down, since I'm sampling, I might as well tell myself what the rating would be. Um, I would get this one a seven out of 10 maybe an 8 out of 10. Let's give it an 8 out of 10. It's pretty nice. Blackberry, 
blueberry. That way I know what it is. This bottom one was just straight up blackberry. Yeah, this was straight up blackberry. What did we give it? Uh, it was pretty good. We'll give that one an 8 out of 10 too. I should make it a 7 out of 10 on that one. Blackberry. Berry. That way at least all of our jars are going to have these yellow stickies. sugar in 2008 blackberry and blueberry strong 2016 so we made this in 2016 and I believe in the previous live stream we added sugar to this so I'm gonna I haven't tasted it since uh, since the time we added the sugar so what I want to do is taste it right now Let's see what it's like it's beautiful got the blueberry color to it and it'll have the blackberry taste in it as well right this is sealed up let's bring a spoon long spoon there we go let's dry our actually for this one I believe in the last video when we tasted this, it was really strong. It was uh, my taste, uh, I didn't like it too much, right? So we added sugar to it. So let's see what the sugar has done with the flavor. Take a look at this. Look at the color. It's like dark. I said previously of not using pulp from jam uh, cancel that this one was the blueberry blackberry pulp that we made jam and we milled it so when I first put it together I guess I didn't add enough sugar because I assumed the milled stuff uh, the pulp was going to be sweet enough it wasn't so all i needed to do was kick up the sugar content for my taste right and that tasted great that tasted great that tasted fantastic i'm gonna give this a nine out of ten the reason i'm doing this is uh, i found out when i get uh, friends over if they've never had liqueur, I don't want to give them something that's really, really sharp, really strong, because that might turn them off, right? So usually I give them stuff that I rate higher, which is gentler. So the rating nine out of 10 is not necessarily, um, it's more associated to uh, my taste, right? Which is sweet, gentle, and stuff like this. Some people really like it sharp. And if they do, I have some stuff here that I give it to them that, just has that kick to it, right? And I'll show you which ones those are. As soon as we go through these, there's a bigger tank. <laughs> this one, okay, this one, check this out. Now on the previous live stream, I mentioned that I thought this was Blackberry that we had. And it's not, this is Elderberry. Okay, we put out a video with uh, where uh, we called it talking about geophysics and harvesting elderberries to make liqueur. And this is the elderberries from that time where we harvested it. 
it was really strong when I tasted it before. Uh, added sugar in 2018. So this one as well, made in 2016. Okay. And it was really strong in last year's the cure video that we made, right? I didn't like it very much. So I added more sugar in 2018. I would have to look back to see how much sugar we added. I don't know. Uh, but take a look at the color of this, first of all. Elderberry. Talk about, like, beautiful color. I'm not going to tilt it over for the live stream, people, uh, for the HD camera because it's going to spill. Uh, but look at this. Look at this. Let me bring this over. Let's see. Right? Like, if this was a lake, you wouldn't go swimming in it. You think dragons live there or something. So nice and dark. Let's have a taste of this. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is fantastic. Holy. I was almost going to say, don't try elderberries. Do elderberries, but add sugar make sure it's sweet so this is that is that is really nice i haven't been sampling this since we added the sugar and i haven't given this to anyone uh, because it was too sharp it was too strong but that's fantastic i'm gonna put a 10 out of 10 on this one really i really like it and it's got the uh, it's a different berry. Like it's not like strawberry, blueberry, blackberry. It's elderberry, but it's very unique flavor. That is fantastic. And elderberry is uh, medicinal. I don't know uh, on what level. 10 out of 10. This one I just put down. This is what I put down strong blackberry right so we gotta taste it let's check it out Ooh, that elderberry is crazy wow that was what's it called aperitif or we're gonna use a small spoon for this one let's check this out Again, this is uh, just straight up blackberry. Uh, okay. And I believe I added sugar to this. I'm not 100% sure because I didn't make a note of it, but. Oh, that is crazy strong. It's sweet too. Not bad. Not bad. This would be great for someone that really loves, uh, loves a strong. Yeah, we're gonna keep this one too. I'm gonna put kick, kick in this. Kick, strong. Uh, I'm giving it an eight out of 10. The reason I'm giving it an eight out of 10 is because I put kick on there, so I know it's a seriously strong flavor. So those are all the blackberry stuff that we have, right? That we went through. So I put four, four of the jars to give away, right? That means I can fill up the space with new things. So how about we go through, um, let's make blackberry and uh, pineapple liqueurs, okay? And then we'll find out how much vodka we have left over and what we'll do, we'll maybe top up, if we have any leftover, top up some of the, uh, some of the other jars. If, you know, the ones that need it. Actually, there's a few here that do need it. Uh, I do need to go, go get additional vodka. But we'll see how much we got left, right? So let's, because we've been making uh, 
We've been tasting the blackberry stuff. Let's make blackberry liqueur first. This guy doesn't go kut, 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 makes it loud. Okay, and these are blackberries that we ended up harvesting uh, two days ago. Two days ago, we went blackberry picking and apple picking. We got here. Let me show you this. These are the. If you recognize these buckets, these are the buckets that we had uh, when we were jarring honey. Right. We put out a video where I collect. Uh, I buy not collect, but. I end up buying every year basically uh, local unpasteurized unfiltered well one filter anyway you can see, see a little bit of bee parts in there too right so basically raw honey if I can get it every year we end up buying right uh, last year we ended up buying a fair bit so we ended up jarring a whole bunch of it I forget how much of it we ended up jarring like six of these things I think right so whatever is empty we end up keeping these because they are fantastic buckets right they're amazing for picking fruit so let me show you these blackberries and these are fantastic blackberries really we've been munching on them a little bit okay and they're really good like look at this the live stream guys nice and we're munching on these uh, as we're picking right and then obviously in the cereals in the morning and stuff like this just every now and then for the last couple of days so one of these buckets uh, let's see this is 2 liter 1.9 liter right this is I think it were five pound buckets of honey, I believe, or 10 pounds, five pounds or 10 pounds, I can't remember. I think it were five pounds buckets of honey. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pour the blackberries in here, okay? Hopefully we won't get too much spillage. Okay. Now we're gonna pretty much fill it up. I might put sugar in the in the middle. Okay. And the sugar I'm using, I'm just using uh, organic cane sugar. I like to use uh, as many organic ingredients as possible. Right. Unpasteurized, unsprayed, like the blueberries that we make, the liqueur, they're unsprayed blueberries because usually blueberries from what I understand. They get sprayed a lot. <laughs> These things, is, let me bring out a spoonful for you guys to take a look. Look at this. All right. Fantastic. Blackberries. Take a look. Really nice blackberries. And this was the first. first batch that comes out. Blackberries are sort of partitioned. They, they come out in three phases, really. There's a first batch that comes out that's really nice. And then there is, uh, and then two to three weeks later, a whole bunch, like tons of it comes out. And then towards the end of the season, you get another batch coming in. And those ones tend to be uh, more on the sour side. So the first batch is really good. Oh, this is perfect. One bucket basically fills it up. Cool. I got like two spoonfuls left here. What I'm gonna do, okay, so take a look, there's barely anything left in there, right? So basically a five pound bucket filled up a two liter jar. Not bad. So let's put this guy here for now. I'm gonna bring out the sugar. Let's put this guy here. And this is 
we just see that this is another bucket of honey thing that we had. This was, oh yeah, these were the 10 pound buckets. You haven't seen these. These, these we bought, um, I don't know how many years ago. It was honey as well, right? These are the 10 pound buckets. So those are the five pound buckets, right? So I just filled these buckets up with honey. Uh, not honey, uh, with sugar. Usually I like the cane sugar to be a little bit darker, but uh, this batch that I ended up getting wasn't as dark. Take a look. So this is just organic cane sugar. Okay. Let's see, hold on, let's do this. Let's shake this up a little bit. And I have, this is one cup, right? Let it settle down a little bit. Give enough room for the sugar to be put in there, right? Take a look. It just settles down. So I'm gonna take one cup, approximately one cup, right? Take a look. I don't wanna fill it up too much because it'll spill and it'll spill sugar. So I'm just gonna pour this in. And it looks pretty. Take a look. Right? It goes down. Right? You can give it a shake. Sugar goes down. But all you have to do is really just pour vodka and it takes it all down. And again, like last time, I'm just using absolute, right? And some people uh, from the previous lecture videos, they mentioned that, you know, They mentioned that uh, you could get uh, Grey Goose vodka made at Costco, really cheap and stuff. And I went and checked it out. Unfortunately, I live in, uh, well, fortunately, I live in British Columbia. I love it here, West Coast, Canada. But unfortunately, they're not allowed to sell it here. Uh, I believe Alberta, you can, but here, they don't. Okay, and this is uh, 60 ounces. This is 1.75 liters. Okay, so that way, if you're keeping track how much vodka and stuff we're using so we put about a little bit less than one cup of sugar i'm going to add more right i just want to pour this in and let it filter through you know what let's pour it in right now here let's put the vodka over here because it's already drifted down so i'm going to add two i'm going to add half a more cup Okay, later on in like three weeks or so, I'll taste it. If it needs more sugar, I'll add it, okay? So because the previous one wasn't a full cup, right? So adjust for that and you get about another half a cup, right? Take a look for the live stream. And this is, right? So if you take it down, it's about one and a half cups. Uh, I think that's going to be plenty. It might be a little bit on the sweet side, but that's okay. Because we're going to do multiple iterations on this one, right? And sometimes during the iterations, I don't want to add any more, any more sugar. Too much vodka. 
usually I like to keep you know, a little bit more space there. But this is good. And what I want to do with this basically, you close the lid and just give it a little rotation, rotation, rotation. And the sugar will dissolve, right? But what I end up doing, uh, we're in summer, we're in August right now, okay? What I end up doing is, I usually, right now it's a little cloudy outside, but I'm gonna put this by the windowsill in our sunroom. And when the sun shines on it, it cooks it up a little bit, right? It heats it up so the sugar is easier to dissolve, okay? And it sort of gives it a little bit of sun goodness, I guess. And you can do this. and the sugar just goes down, right? And I did fill it up too much, but that's okay. In a week, I'll drink some of it, just to give it a taste, right? Take a look, the sugar just drips down. Okay. And it's filled to the rim, right, almost. So we're gonna leave this right now, and what I'm gonna do is put it by the windowsill. Now the next liqueur I wanna make is, and we have some blackberries left here. I guess I'll have to eat those, right? Look at the color on those. Fantastic, fantastic. And hopefully we're gonna go through, uh, just so you know, uh, we're gonna try to go through another picking round as well. So if we end up getting a lot more, we might end up making more jam. Uh, we're gonna make a little bit tomorrow blackberry jam but uh, if we do get more later because it looked like there was a lot there uh, ready it's gonna take another three weeks or so for them to come in uh, hopefully we'll get more and we'll end up making more jam let's do let's put the vodka down here oh yeah let me show you how much vodka we We ended up using, so if this is a 60 ounce or 1.75 liters, we ended up using this much. So whatever that is, I don't know what that is, right? So if this is two liters, that's about a quarter. So this will be 500 mil, um, just divided by four, right? Like a quarter of it. So, well, it's not two liters, it's 1.75 liters. Let's say 60 ounces divided by four, you get, uh, 15 ounces, I guess, went into that, right? Yeah, 15 ounces, a little bit more, went into the blackberry liqueur that we just made. And about five pounds of uh, blackberries, or in a five pound bucket, I don't know if it's five pounds because everything weighs different, right? So five pound bucket of, um, I should have maybe weighed it, but we didn't. We just fill it up to the rim, right? Um, so five pound bucket of blackberries with 15 to 17 ounces of vodka and one and a half cups of sugar. That's our recipe. Major room for adjustment. <laughs> this is our pineapples. I just went and bought this today, this morning, and I cut it up and it's really good pineapples. It's delicious, actually. Very nice. Let's bring a little, little fork. Really good pineapples. Fantastic, really. So we're gonna fill this guy up. And I cut some of them small and some of them bigger, okay? Because when we, because we do eat the fruit, for sure, in pineapples, right? So these are smaller. If you want to take a look at them side by side, we do eat the fruit. Um, not all of them, but there's a two, right? Uh, and some people, because the fruit when in the liqueurs is stronger than the liqueur. Like really, when you make these liqueurs, like the blackberry, the lemon, all of them, the liqueur tastes sweet and delicious. When, and the, the fruits is delicious, but it's sharp. For some reason, the fruit tends to really absorb the alcohol flavor. Um, I don't know why. I don't know what the chemistry behind it is. 
So let's go with this up. someone recommended I believe is blood orange and the color on blood orange would be amazing right that's one of the things with this the cure cabinet uh, visually I forget what it's called aesthetically or visually or whatever it is it, it looks beautiful the different colors This is one pineapple. So this thing takes one pineapple. That's good. Maybe a little bit more actually, but we don't have any. Let's pour the juices in there too. Nice. Okay, I think that falls. Let's eat that bit. This is gonna be fun. Really, just with the fruit, you can almost almost tell what it's going to be like. And this is the ice I brought out to try some of the other liquors. So I'm just drinking the water, so the ice doesn't melt as fast. I think that's the way to do it. Maybe I should have left the water. So one pineapple. We're gonna put. I'm just gonna put one cup of sugar in this, no more, because the pineapple is really sweet. Okay. Nice. Here, let's put this guy here. Let's put the sugar away, so it's out of our way. We don't accidentally knock it. Here, we'll fix up the. Gonna put one cup and then taste it and that's the beauty of it right if you add a lot of sugar too much sugar then you're gonna have to drink it slowly on the rocks is amazing when they're really sweet just pour it put the put your take your cup put ice in it and then pour the liqueur on top and it sort of melts the ice a little bit and you just give it a shake and it dilutes the liqueur a little bit right if you don't add enough sugar you can always add more sugar later on right so it's better to be more on the conservative side i think this one's going to take more vodka maybe because there's more gaps between the pineapples right which is okay we just end up doing less iterations of this right? and we're going to keep uh, it was about here, so it's taking a little bit more in the corner. Let's keep on going. I just want to fill up. And that's exactly what you want to do. You want to fill it up to cover all the fruit. Okay? So. You can see once this settles, all the pineapples are going to be filled up, right? Or topped up. And I should put the labels on these, eh? Might as well do it now. Right. Should we put the recipe in there too? <laughs> Our recipe. So let's do this. This one was pineapple 2019. 2019, August. Um, 
one cup, one cup sugar, and one pineapple. One pineapple, and about a third of 175 liters. So one third, I'm just gonna go one third, 60 ounces or 175 liter, right? 175 liter, so one third uh, of 60 ounces would be 20, 20 ounces or so, right? Let's make it 20 ounces, okay? Approximately, so let's put that label on here. Let's put the pineapples here. Look at that color. That looks great, eh? And let's put the label on this too. And take a look, all the sugar is sort of already settling down. And the ones that were here are sort of melting, or not melting, uh, dissolving into the vodka, right? So this one was um, a five pound bucket, five pound bucket, blackberry, blackberry, 2019. August, 1.5 cups sugar, and about a third, uh, no, sorry, a quarter, quarter of 175 a liter, which is basically 15 ounces, ounces. Okay. That's our labels. I'm gonna put tape on it too. do is liqueurs that we can make okay so that's for liqueur making we have this much vodka that we can use to top up some of the other guys right so we need to go through and do the hard work of sampling some of them right so let's do this um, this is this one I know we're not gonna add anymore Plum, good for dessert ice cream. That's what I wrote down. This is Plum 2014. To, uh, yeah, 2014, good for dessert. And this is, again, one of the pulps of a jam uh, that I made, right? And I just wanted to try it out because we do make plum liqueur and we have plum liqueur here. And plum liqueur is fantastic. Uh, I just wanted to try it out with the pulp. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sample it sample this as well I just said it's gonna be good for ice cream and I think that's the case because it's very take a look it's very like show that right like it's got the texture of a jam so and it's vodka flavor This would be amazing, amazing on a brownie heated up in the oven or fresh baking something with chocolate dark and pour this on top, right? Wow, it would be phenomenal. 
and this has got all the seeds in there too right like the the because the, it's the milled stuff from making plum jam This is just straight up plums cut in half, right? So, and this I tasted last weekend, and it's fantastic. Now I'm just gonna see if I'm gonna add, I'm not gonna drink the liqueur because it's, it's very little, but I wanna taste this. I tasted one of these uh, last week as well. It's delicious. Very good. Should we add more vodka? No. I like the way it tastes. I'm not going to add any more vodka. Mm -hmm. You know what? Let's drink the liqueur. If the liqueur can handle the additional vodka, still tastes good, then we'll add more vodka. Don't know if it will or not. I'm not gonna bring this close. I'm gonna do it here. Oops. Okay, hold on. Let me do a little adjustment here. We're gonna need a fork. Because what happens when you pour, because the fruit is all stuck there, the liquid comes down, but if you tilt it over a little bit too much, the fruit falls over and it splashes, right? So be careful if you're doing this. You don't want to things all of a sudden flopping down in the jars and just spilling over. Okay. We might add a little bit more vodka. Take a look. It's got some of the pulp in there. Taking a risk, but might as well, because there's probably, you know, a couple of ounces of alcohol in there, right? Um, more sugar. Let's add a little bit of more sugar. Let's bring this guy here. No, I'm not gonna add much. Very little. Just enough to compensate for because I love the flavor, um, so I don't want to dilute it too much. Like here, let me show you, like barely. This is like, what is that? Is there a setting on that? A quarter of a cup? Yeah, a quarter of a cup of sugar. Not even. Okay, I'm adding like an eighth of a cup of sugar. Okay? So let's put this over here. Make, give ourselves a little bit more space. So an eighth of a cup of sugar. It's 
beautiful. Autumn olive, we put out a video of harvesting autumn olive, two or three videos of harvesting autumn olives, right? That was before I made this liqueur. This liqueur we made last year, okay? During autumn, autumn olive, okay? Uh, it tastes, the autumn olives taste amazing. We've tried making jam with this, it doesn't work well because the seeds pop up too much, okay? But let's taste the liqueur. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's gonna be very pungent. This is gonna be very pungent. Okay, let me do this here. Take a look at the color. Let's see if we can get it. Nice color. Oh, that is. It's gone. I didn't think this was gonna taste that nice. That's super nice. Very unique flavor. Cool, cool, cool. Autumn olive. We made it last year, so let me put a label on this. It doesn't need anything, so we're not gonna mess around with it. We're gonna roll autumn olive. Very good, very good, very good. Very good, very good. Let's bring our tape. This is our labeling system, I guess, right? recently had some a couple of days ago um, are we gonna add any more I don't think we're gonna try to keep this going because I don't think it'll uh, it'll retain the flavor enough okay I think all the pomegranates are spent they're not all spent they'll still taste good it's gonna be too strong, way too strong. And winter is coming. So we can grab more pomegranates and make a new batch, right? Let me take a look at this. It's very cloudy, right? Beautiful color. And we've got some pomegranate seeds in there, right? Yeah, this is amazing tasting. So good. And the seeds of the pomegranate. What a kick. I'm gonna add a little bit of vodka, no sugar. Just enough to cover them up. Okay. And we still have this much vodka left. So when you're doing this, uh, if you go through multiple iterations, it takes less vodka or gin, less liquid to top up the fruit because the fruit's settling down, right? This definitely is the last iteration. Well, almost definitely last iteration of this we're gonna do, okay? And we can give it a little shake. 
because the sweetness was nice. Right? So that's good enough. Okay, there's more water I think. Maybe we've got business on this side. This is our blueberry. Let's cleanse our palates. The pomegranate was really nice and sweet, right? That's why I didn't add any more sugar. And after drinking something sweet like that, it's good to uh, just cleanse the palate. Cherry 2018, frozen, one cup sugar, half a 26 or vodka. So 13 ounces of vodka went in this and uh, half a cup of sugar. Cherry takes on the flavor of the vodka. Oh, really well. Let's cleanse the palate more. Got water here too. Very sweet. I'm just going to add some more vodka. Okay. That's enough. Just a little bit. Top it up. Should I even bother noting that we added a little vodka? Not really. We didn't have too much. It wasn't a full iteration. When it's a full iteration, there's no more liquid and amount of sugar and stuff. I usually take a note down, so give it a shake. Okay. Not bad. This is the blueberry. The blueberries are really nice. nice. Let's give our hands a little wipe. That cherry. Sweet as well. Okay, let's put a spoon down to our last big spoon. So I'm gonna put it in the plate and then pick it up with my fork. So when, you, when you're pouring, you can just do this, right? Settle the fruit down. Let's put this here. Again, nice color. Beautiful color. It's a little cloudy because we've gone through it, right? Shaking it up. 
just got a little bit of the Let's add a little bit more vodka. Cool. That's enough. Cover the fruit. Blueberry, blue, berry, uh, 2018. That's when we made it, right? And it's the same recipe, uh, same stuff we added as the cherry. I know that uh, because we're beside each other, just know where things are, right? This one. Crab apple. I wrote down more time needed added sugar one cup 2018 right cool i believe this is from 2016 the Beautiful. Right? Take a look. These are uh, crab apples we pick at a at a small town we go to. Look at that. Added more sugar. Let's see what it's like. I rated this thing six out of ten before adding the sugar, right? So let's see what it is now. I should have poured it in front of you guys. Look at this, look at this. We'll do it again. Kick the, took the kick away from it a little bit, right? That is really good. We're kicking up the rating on this. We're gonna make it a. This one's crab apple as well. I wrote down delicious. Eight out of ten. Let's check it out. This uh, needs more tape. I may have to add more vodka to this. Look at this. This is older. Right? And I believe these are the red crab apples. It's the same as the the other one we have here that we gave it a. Oh no, that was uh, yeah, yeah, that was plum. So this is crab apple older, red crab apples. I think it's from the first batch of crab apple jam I ended up making. Let's have a taste of this. I'm 
not going to eat the crab apple. I know they're strong. I've eaten one, I think, like a couple of weeks ago. Oh, I should be pouring this in front of you guys. I might add a little bit more vodka to this. Let's see. All right, it's very cloudy. Might not. Once it gets cloudy like this, you know the fruit is totally disintegrating. So it only has a certain amount of life left in it. I'll get a little bit more vodka. We try to milk it as far as we can with these things, right? Once they get the, once they get the taste, They get that flavor that you like. You just don't want to let it drain too much, right? You still want to retain that flavor. And then you add some vodka. Sometimes you add a little bit too much. And then later on, you go, okay, you got to add a little bit of sugar. It just is what it is, right? So let's put new tape on it. It's the same label. The tape was disintegrating. is you've seen this before right this is cherry c's grandpa special 10 out of 10 right this is like 40 year olds like he made it in the 1980s found its way to me right so let's have a taste of this too let me put the sugar away if we need the sugar, we'll bring it back. If we need the sugar, we'll bring it back. Just checking on the live stream. <laughs> Speedy Gonzalez wise. I think we ran, ran out of uh, liqueur glasses. So let me do this. Give this a little, pour a little water in there. Give it a little whoosh. of this polluted. This one I'm going to pour here. Don't want to accidentally do a little spillage. Can you see? Oh, it's phenomenal. I know exactly what this tastes like. I haven't had a vodka to this for a while, for a long time. Thing would go amazing with desserts as well. It basically is dessert. Very nice, very nice. This is the same. I just split it up into two different jars. You can take a look. This one I might add a little. I think the seeds, are the seeds covered for that one? Yeah, that one, all the seeds are covered. This one, the seeds, take a look. They're not covered all the way, right? Let's have a taste, let's have a taste. I'm gonna pour a little water in this, give it a whoosh.
you know what, I'm going to add a little bit of vodka. Just a touch. Just so they're covered. Okay. That's it. We've got this much vodka left. Okay. Let's close this up. Let's give it a shake. Let's open it up again. Let's see. I'm going to add a little bit more just to so the seeds are covered. Okay, perfect. Take a look. No, I can't tilt it too much, but you can see it's almost to the rim, right? Because the alcohol acts as a preservative as well. This one, this is sea buckthorn, okay? I consolidated a whole bunch of sea buckthorn uh, liqueur jars into one jar to a certain degree. And this stuff we picked, we set, I don't know, about six or seven years ago, uh, we made this, maybe a little bit longer. And it's very medicinal. Like it has, uh, what do you call it? Uh, like sea buckthorn is good for you. It's got certain oils and minerals and stuff that I forget again what they are, but I know they're good. So sometimes if you, you know, want to sell the tummy, if you had a meal or every now and then just on the rocks. And the sea buckthorn, when you, when you drink it, that when you eat it, it's very pungent. Very, very pungent. Okay. And it's strong. This has got a kick to it. I give to some people, they're like, oof, too much. Some people are like, yes. What a kick. I ain't touching that. That's beautiful. For people that can handle it, This one is cinnamon, okay. and these are the cinnamon sticks that we used for uh, the crab apples. One batch of crab apple jam, crab apple butter that we made, right? So it's just sitting there. I'm gonna be, I'm not gonna shake this around because the sediment is settled in at the bottom, right? If you can see. So I don't want the sediment get mixed up as well just gravity has pulled it down and then drink itself is pretty clear so let's give well let's do this again give this a little whoosh okay and this with this one I'm going to touch this. Okay. Again, very clear. Right? There's a little bit of sediment that you can see there. It smells amazing. Very strong. Very strong. Just even this motion, it made it a little bit more cloudy, right? So when I pull this out, usually I'm very, very, very gentle with it. What we got here is uh, cornini and cherries. I got three cornini and cherries here. business no 
joking. going through you take a look at this this is cornelia cherries we picked these a while ago okay let me bring one of them out okay i'm gonna show you guys first Let's switch between uh, it's not focusing it's not, no. it shows a live stream let me put this here. I'm gonna taste it. It's gonna be, I think it's gonna be more on the strong side, but we'll see. I just got soothed in it though. Strong. Let's have a taste of the, the liqueur. The fruits uh, basically lost this flavor. So it's just very strong alcohol flavor to it, right? So I'm not gonna do another iteration no matter what the liqueur tastes like. these are about the same so I'm not gonna taste all of them right okay let's taste this one this one's lost in color too so this one is not gonna have that much flavor so these are on their last breath okay but let's have a drink of this as well I think this one tastes a the flavor comes out a little bit better. Right. There isn't that much there. But let's see. Oh, I'm right getting it. sweeter than the other one a little bit more flavorful than the other one but they're on their last breath no more iterations for these okay and the last one is one of the ones that I like the most is the one I go to a lot is the lemon liqueur that we made that I made like And I continue to add sugar and vodka to this. So add it on, add it, uh, sugar, one cup, uh, vodka, vodka bottle, half a vodka bottle in 2018. So add it a half a 26 during 2018, we're down to this, right? We do share this, we are not luscious. We have friends over, liqueur, dinner. It's nice to offer a little liqueur, right? But for now, I'm gonna do a little sampling of this guy, right? I wanna give this guy a wash. Give our hands a little wash. Now I'm gonna put the cup down and pour this because otherwise it might get messy.
just breaks apart. I'm pretty sure we're going to have this to this. But we're going to taste it first. Another nice stiff drink for our last drink. Let's give our palates another one. Introduce people to liqueurs. This is the one I start with. Phenomenal. This can handle this much. I should be adding. I'm gonna later on go get more vodka, uh, and I'll fill this up. Okay. But for now, let's just. Add. There's a fair bit of gaps in there, so it didn't move much. <laughs> fair bit of space in there, okay. But it definitely needs more. We're gonna add another quarter of a 26er in there. And it's without a doubt, yeah. Future rating 10 out of 10. some nice uh, blackberries that got us doing this and uh, I forget who it was that recommended the pineapple liqueur very much looking forward to uh, sampling that okay I might add a little bit more sugar I know we only put like one cup I think but uh, hopefully I think the pineapple is really sweet so maybe one cup I think might be enough for it okay um, I hope you enjoyed. We'll continue to come to the liqueur cabinet as we shift things up a little bit. Um, definitely, we're going to make some more pomegranate liqueur uh, this winter or early next year. Okay, and we'll see this area sort of morph and shift. And we definitely, some things are on their last leg, so we'll see, you know, how long they last. And um, the gifts that were given away, uh, I hope whoever gets them appreciates them. Okay, uh, that's about it for now, and I'll uh, I'll see you guys in the next uh, video. Thanks for being here. Goodbye for now. <laughs> I think I got a buzz. <laughs> oh, fun. Let me change up the the angle again. Am I redder? <laughs> Not sure what we sampled. I think I need my glasses for this one. <sighs> Spotted T, how you doing? Wow, how are you? I love you, Chicho. <laughs> Drink, Chicho. Uh, that was a lot of vodka. You just right. I think so. My temperature's gone up a little bit. <laughs> A buzz. You're definitely just imagining things. <laughs> now you can start slurring your words. It takes, uh, for me, actually, I don't drink very much anymore. I really don't. Uh, so, but if I'm slurring my words, man, uh, I'm not right now, I know. But if you're ever with me, if I ever start slurring my words, uh, tell me to stop, please. Okay. <laughs> Sobriety test. Twitch admins are going to show up anytime moment to give you a field sobriety test. All I've got over here is Miller <laughs> Love seeing Chicha have fun. Yeah, fun man. It is it is super fun. Live, live.
Yeah, I've been meaning to get this done. We've had a lot of people request more liqueur videos, right? How long did we go for? Oh, we went for two hours. That was good timing. Crazy, crazy. That was good. That was good timing. Oh, no, Bixie, you couldn't have missed everything. I'll have the video up on, hopefully, BitChute, the live stream BitChute. Um, hopefully tomorrow, maybe next day, because tomorrow I'm going to do the, uh, we're going to do the jam, right? So I'm going to be fairly busy. Next few days I'm going to be busy. And YouTube, uh, YouTube, the live stream for days, do you want me to load on YouTube as well? Uh, we want more because drunk teacher was best. Uh, the... If I'm going to be editing video, because I've been... Oh, hold on. Let me turn off these guys. The edited stuff. If I'm... Uh, test, test, test. Yeah, if I'm shooting the videos for these, uh, what I do, we want more. <laughs> because what I do is, if I'm going to load on an edited version, I don't load on a, load on a live version on YouTube. If we're got, not going to load on a live version on... Uh, if we're not going to edit it, if I'm not shooting it with an HD camera, then I load on the live versions on YouTube. And I know initially I said I wasn't going to load on uh, as much live on YouTube as I have been. One of the reasons is because we're getting dinged by YouTube. The sensors are kicking in, like really, like <laughs> they're totally kicking in. <laughs> you can see sensitive topics coming up that is not something that Google wants to promote. Um, we're getting nailed like really we're actually seeing some of the stuff I'm seeing um, <laughs> I'm seeing a little dip in the sub count right uh, I was just wondering because you do upload the other live streams yeah Bixie I have been uh, I wasn't gonna upload as many live streams as I have been on YouTube as I am but that was it <laughs> We take the hit, we take the hit, right? Because I think, uh, I'm pretty sure people are liking the live streams, right? Uh, so we'll let the algorithms do whatever it is they're, they're doing. Uh, we can't help it. It is what it is. Is that a sword in the wall? Yeah, this is uh, Glan Glandemir, Gandalf's sword. It was sort of a promotional thing they put out for the first Lord of the Rings movie. And... Uh, we bought it as a family. What subjects does Google not want? Uh, <laughs> there's a lot. <laughs> the Google sensors are hardcore, man. They're pretty hardcore. If you're not if you're not promoting social justice warrior uh, stuff, you get dinged. If you say anything against that, you get dinged. If you don't say that certain institutions are evil you get dinged if you say certain institutions are evil you get dinged uh, youtube doesn't like uh, live streaming promoting other video sharing platforms right so for the live streams i'm i'm linking in the description my twitch channel so when i'm doing that the algorithms are picking that stuff up right uh, youtube is censoring hardcore censoring hardcore Connor Play, thank you very much for the. I just noticed the top uh, for the uh, for the uh, jewels. What do you call these things? I'm trying too much to know. <laughs> Anything that could determine, uh, yeah, deter advertisers. And there, it's not just their advertisers. It's also their ideology, right? Their agenda, right? Stuff probably political stuff for sure. Spotty. Uh, but it needs to be it needs to be out there. I needed to load that stuff up. Okay. I have to do. Hello, red cheeks. Hello, barbarian. How are you doing? What will you do once stream is off? What do you enjoy to do while being buzzed? I you know what? I don't know if I'm buzzed right now. Uh, one thing I need to do is go through the comic books that we uh, that I put aside to sell. There's one local person that has bought some comic books and he's gonna, we're gonna hook up this week that we're gonna do a handoff and he wanted, uh, um, he wanted a, I sent him the video and he, he wanted a few other things from the stuff that I have up. And I, 
and I said, sure, I'll give you that. He wanted certain other things too that I said, I've promised people that I'm going to be listing them so I can't sell it to them, sell them directly. Like he wanted the full carnage set, right? The cameo appearances all the way to Amazing Spider-Man 361. And I said, look, if, if I had another set, if I pulled another set, I'd sell it to him, right? And we'll figure out a price and sell it, right? But because I've promised people that I'm going to be loading those up on uh, my eBay page, so I got to go through and pick the ones that I can sell to them directly. That's one thing I'm going to do. I'm going to set myself up in the kitchen for the, for the, for the cook we're going to do tomorrow to make jam. I just do uh, maximum 0, 0.0. Glam, glambering, that's what it is. Oh, cool, I think. Is it glambering? I think so. I've probably got before. Should Chicho handle sores when he's been drinking? <laughs> I don't know. That might not be a good idea. <laughs> You'll always have a Chicho. Awesome. Thank man. They call it bit, bits. Yes. Oh, Welsh. Thank you very much for the bits. <laughs> awesome. Thanks for that. You could sell him, uh, sell him in a bundle and make a hell of a money. Oh. Yeah, I, you know what, I, I told people I'm going to be listing it on eBay, so I have to, I'm going to list it on eBay, the amazing, the carnage appearances anyway. The other ones he wants, I had like, he wanted Hulk 377 and I still have two copies, I think we sold two or three copies, we got one or two copies left, so that one, Infinity Gauntlet and whatnot, so I just have to go through those. Yeah, Glampering, uh, big token fan here, awesome spot of tea. If you're bringing that, let's bring it down. It's nice as a as a promo promo thing it was nice like they didn't really cheap out on this okay ended up uh, I think this thing cost us um, ended up paying like three three hundred four hundred Canadian for it right it's pretty sharp and it's very heavy it's pretty heavy swing the sword right? it's pretty heavy it, it is a nice <laughs> it's oh yeah for sure it's actual metal like it's it's substantial like if you have to go to battle with this you like I could I could probably swing like five or six times and then the goblins would take me out man and I'd be done it's not sharp here on the on the ledges but this part is crazy pointy like look at this thing like that is crazy sharp right it's a nice sword Chicho's ghetto. Be careful. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Be careful. I am still red. <laughs> Enjoying the following your eBay auctions very much. So looking forward to getting the books I want. Nice. Which ones did you get, uh, Gatsby? Oh, you messaged me. Which ones? Uh, I'm sending off some books tomorrow. I forget which ones they were. Home defense. Chicho is confirmed for the role of Gandalf in uh, Amazon's uh, Sire's game. Is there a Chicho Wizard of Mathematics? I'm like curious. <laughs> Mathematics abilities deteriorate with more of the cure. Unfortunately, unfortunately. Guardians don't work. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, I've, I've already packaged them up. They'll be in the mail tomorrow, man. They'll be in the mail tomorrow. I hope you like them. And if you do send them for grading, I think you said you might send them for grading, let me know what they are. That's like, I don't like... I grade him according to what I think, right? Who knows what CGC is going to return it as, right? I had one person in a comic shop that I saw on Wednesday. He said he sent a book in that had a gash like this. This was their last Wednesday, anyway. Uh, he had a gash like this on a staple and other ticks and stuff like this. He himself had graded it as 7.5. He got it back at 9.2. He's like, 
like we were laughing at it like do, do you trust CGC grading um, it is what it is right it is what it is have you sent the go go boy set right no I haven't uh, oh uh, to you spot of team no it, co- it leaves Monday I was gonna send that on a Friday but uh, I got busy I got busy and the things were selling so I was gonna package up more things so I figured I'd make one trip to the post office it'll be on its way uh, tomorrow to you spot of tea I hope you like them man <laughs> again the artwork is rough the story is solid the story is super solid super solid Chicho someone mentioned earlier in the chat can't remember who it was about making honeycomb liqueur thoughts uh, it would it would be good I haven't it should be good buy some uh, honey with comb in it and then pour vodka in it uh, I'm not sure what the vodka would do to the comb it should just preserve it and then give it a shake put it in the sun and let the honey dissolve into the vodka it'd be amazing actually should be anyway sometimes certain things I've thought about they'd be amazing and they weren't certain things I didn't I didn't have too much expectations and it turned out amazing awesome that's fine don't worry okay awesome spot of tea i'm gonna sip liqueur tomorrow in lake chalan can't wait nice nice live streaming we'll join you <laughs> does any liqueur work i'm not a big fan of vodka though i like cognac uh cognac i've never been made liqueur with because cognac is because vodka is neutral vodka and gin are neutral gin less so vodka is very neutral uh, cognac already has a very strong flavor so I don't know how it would work uh, when it comes to using cognac to make liqueur and cognac is very expensive uh, in my part of the world anyway not brandy the cheap brandies uh, the cheap stuff that's cognac imitation there are brandies which are amazing as well don't get me wrong cognac is from the French cognac region that's why they're allowed to call it cognac it's just brandy cognac is just brandy right Hennessy is fantastic I love Hennessy um, but I wouldn't use Hennessy to make liqueur tell you the truth because uh, Hennessy already has a very unique strong flavor I would use neutral clear uh, alcohols to make liqueurs uh, I've never used rum I know people use rum with fruits and stuff I haven't uh, I find I used to drink rum back in the day a while ago when I was smoking a lot of cigars and stuff uh, when I was going to Cuba and the cigar lounge and stuff like this not not inside the house because you don't want to smoke cigars really inside the house it stinks up um, but uh, with rum uh, I would drink but I didn't like flavored rum what is the most adventurous exotic fruit you've used for liqueur chicho additionally you have any liqueurs you've wanted to make but haven't been able to yeah for sure there's blood orange I want to make um, and other fruits for sure as well the most exotic would be like for example like pomegranates I haven't come across so much pomegranate liqueur the cornini and cherry for sure like you can't find this like and this is Cornelia Cherry's big pair. Uh, sea buckthorn. I've never seen sea buckthorn liqueur. I've seen sea buckthorn tinctures. Uh, so I don't know. I've thought about making kiwi, but I don't think, I don't know what kiwi would be like. Captain Morgan. Captain Morgan's crazy strong flavor, no? I prefer absolute. I tried to get my hands on vodka that people mentioned. Um, that Costco sells that Grey Goose makes that's really good distilled like three times and stuff like this but they don't sell it in the Costco's here like this bottle like this thing right 60 it's 1.75 liters so 64 ounces or so like 60 plus ounces expensive cost $65 right in my part of the world alcohol is ridiculously expensive ridiculously expensive 
Anna's uh, equation for happiness. Two shots of Captain Warmer plus gold plus CBD. <laughs> Don't drink Coke, Anna. A Coke is poison. I, really, I used to drink. Stop drinking Coca-Cola. Or any type of colas. Pop in general. Uh, the acidity level on darker stuff is through the roof. Or, you know, acidity of three or four. It's, it's not good. But rum and coke and Captain Morgan, sure. But as you get older, do it less and less. I like Captain Morgan just because it's my name. <laughs> Is it? Morgan. What's the difference between CBD and THC? Why uh, not smoke good old pink kush? Um, it depends. Uh, the grades change, right? Certain buds have higher CBD than THC and vice versa. Right? I think it would be interesting to use gar garana fruit. It's caffeine, uh, theobromine. Content could have an interesting effect with the alcohol, possibly. Coffee liqueur would be very good as well, I think. Just buy coffee seeds, right? Don't grind them up, just coffee seeds. Add sugar, add vodka. I might try that. That would be pretty good, I think. Have you tried Russian uh, standard? No. No. Yeah, Coke is horrible. Coke is horrible. Diet Coke is even more horrible. I know it's bad. Really bad, Anna. Really. If you want to preserve your health, stop drinking pop. Add vodka to morning coffee. I like, you know what? Uh, the one thing that I have mixed cognac with is tea and coffee. Tea and coffee, cognac is like there's three things I've mixed cognac with tea, fantastic, coffee, fantastic, and there's a drink called the beautiful, which is 50 50 50% 50 cognac, 50% Grand Marnier. Sugar kick and a half. Don't drink too much of it. Diet Coke says aspartame, which is awful. Yeah. Yeah, coffee liqueur would be amazing. That's a great idea. Next time, I think I might buy some coffee seeds and make coffee liqueur. Why not? That'd be really good. Yeah, coffee would be interesting as well. I've seen some coffee beers and such. Yeah, same. I like the coffee in different flavors, really. From chocolate in coffee and popping coffee. Uh, chocolate covered coffee seeds too but I don't I try to reduce uh, not drink too much of it or eat too much of it I really want to do a peppermint cinnamon and anise 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 seed anise seed I believe and clover liqueur for Christmas that would be pretty good Casey by the way hi Casey how you doing <laughs> for Christmas time yeah clove clove cinnamon peppermint you know what that combination would be really good Casey but I think what would you what you would have to do is the the peppermint the leaves you would have to extract out of the liqueur I don't think you could keep the the leaves there for too long okay I think you would have to let it sit and then filter out the leaves and then you can leave the cinnamon stick clove and uh, an, an ice seed I believe uh, in there all McDonald's pop dispensers has aspartame terrible drink is a terrible food place to avoid yeah avoid 100% aspartame is 100% safe in pop I wouldn't do there's a place like uh, to go which does espresso martini which is so good hey Chicho <laughs> I can't see <laughs> Pretty sure I've seen YouTube videos where people have used Coke to clean their toilets. Yeah, I use I have used Coke to uh, unplug the drain. Really, <laughs> two liter bottle of Coke, and if the drain's plugged, pour it, leave it, come back, it's gone. Turn on the water, it's over. Right? I guess the city makes it an effective uh, cleaning agent. Yeah unrust things bro it unrusts things bro <laughs> i totally don't work in mcdonald's 
I've been a manager at McDonald's for four years. Oh, is that you? Assistant manager, awesome. Yeah, don't eat that stuff. I've been there for a year now. I'm a 20-year-old, mostly healthy male, and I drink soda every day. How fucked am I? Uh, deck man, here's the thing. Do you get cavities? Do you get cavities? Stop drinking Coke. Stop drinking pop. Watch where you don't know, stop getting cavities. Really. I've tried it. That's the combo I like to make tea with now. And again, uh, yeah, you can strain your liqueurs after a couple of weeks and they'll be good enough for gifts and things. Yeah. Get yourself little bottles and take little samplers of liqueurs. It'd be amazing. Aspartame has been proven for years and years to be 100% safe. Think about who wants you to not use sugar replacements. Do the research and don't believe everything you hear. Possibly, Casey. I disagree with aspartame. Uh, from what I understand, aspartame is, uh, if you go back to the 1980s, it was Donald Rumsfeld. If, I might be mistaken regarding the, is it aspartame or something else? But Donald Rumsfeld in the 1980s, when he was working for this corporation as CEO, they fast-tracked one of the sugar supplements. I guarantee the science is there. It's 100% safe. Okay, Casey. Never had a cavity. In fact, my teeth are actually really healthy for some reason. Wow. Deck man, you got good good bones. Yeah, liqueur. Last <laughs> year, Chicho. Buff monster, how are you doing? We just finished our liqueur live stream. <laughs> we just finished it. Can you answer one important question regarding liqueur? The alcohol preserves the fruit, but that happens when it's not covering. Uh, uh, but that happens when it's not covering the fruits anymore. You have some jars with uncovered fruit for weeks or months. What happens to the exposed fruit? The exposed fruit has already sucked in so much sugar and alcohol i've never 30 years of doing this i've never had uh, any mold on any of the fruits and i've eaten the fruits and it's all good like um, the the one thing that destroys things is um, is oxygen right so when you close this up some of these aren't completely sealed, so the alcohol content is decreasing a little bit too. I don't know what the sugar that's sugar from might kick it up, I don't know. But uh, I've never had any of the fruits go bad, right? But for sure they have to be covered for a bit for them to absorb the alcohol. So it just becomes preserved. Switch from pop to beer after I turn 21. No cavities, although the beer guts is another side effect I don't want to spit. Yeah, big sh sugar desperately wants you to believe you can't use sugar replacements yeah um not a good sugar replacement is uh not aspartame but uh oh what's it called let me go grab it hold on This isn't it. Anyway, there's a name. There's another thing that has uh, is not a bad sugar substitute. I'll have to wash the rock. Okay, oxygen destroys everything. Well, it looks like we need to chop down a lot of trees. <laughs> if you want to preserve things, just vacuum seal them, right? Oh God, what? <laughs> oh fun. Okay, yeah, should we call the stream? Should we call the stream? Thank you for being here, by the way. That was fun. Fun stream indeed. I thought aspartame was pretty unhealthy. I, my take is, uh, Casey's saying no. Casey does look into the science of a lot of things. So he's pretty well informed on a lot of these things. 
He's corrected me on a couple of things. I haven't looked into the aspartame. Aspartame, Donald Rumsfeld and aspartame, to me, I believe is Donald Rumsfeld, are connected. So anything that Donald is connected to Donald Rumsfeld, fast tracking it through the FDA, I would stay away from personally. I haven't looked into the history. Oh, common myth. But Casey has shown me a couple of things where I was misinformed. So I am better informed now. I forget what they were though. <laughs> what was a hot liquid stream to go? Glad you enjoyed Void. Only stream I have watched from beginning to end. Best content creator on Twitch. Oh, thank you very much, Walsh. Appreciate it. And welcome. I'm glad Spot of T sent you our way. Uh, thank you, Spot of T. A truth, how are you doing? Night Chicho, you're when are you streaming the jam i'm making the jam i believe uh, we're starting at 3 30 tomorrow afternoon okay you know if i say it i would look into it deeply yeah otherwise i keep my mouth shut <laughs> even so casey uh i have to i have to this detangle myself aspartame and donald Russell. i would have to look at the science i would have to really dig down like that like I have such an allergic reaction to people like Donald Rumsfeld, Dick Cheney, and stuff like this. Uh, if I associate anything with them, they're on my don't touch list until I totally dismiss it. All right? Lots of fun, Chicho. Keep bringing the positive, brother. I I will try, man. So cola light and zero is actually better than normal cola. No, I wouldn't touch those. I personally, I wouldn't touch any of the colas maybe Casey look into it let them let the pop drinkers know <laughs> okay gang let's go on the stream I gotta go look at some comic books and grade them and see where we're at um, if you can make it tomorrow better better than drinking all that sugar 100 percent yeah I'm excited for tomorrow's stream and my comics see you then everyone gang sounds like you guys had fun I had a great time obviously i don't know <laughs> sampling uh, but if you can make it uh we'll see each other tomorrow at 3 30 to make some blackberry jam if not wednesday we make applesauce love you Jisha. love you guys too man love you guys too peace everyone peace Joy, <laughs> bye guys <laughs>